Hi everyone, I thought today I'd broach the subject of that protein word that I don't really know a lot about. My experience with protein is the Scarsdale diet in the 70s where all you ate was meat, cheese and eggs, had wrestler's breath, and the lover ended up shooting her lover. And I think it was because she needed someone to throw her a carb. So let's see what Elena has to say. So protein is one of our our macronutrients. So macronutrients, there's three of them. We have our protein, our fats, and our carbohydrates. Macro means big, so it's a nutrient that our body needs need in large amounts. Protein is so important when you start strength training because protein is responsible for rebuilding and repairing our muscle. Essentially what happens when we work out, when we do exercises, our, we have baby tears in our muscle fibers. And it's protein that helps rebuild and repair those muscle fibers to create nice, strong muscle mass. So protein is especially important when you are strength training. Now, I because I don't really use it, I did found, uh, find a tub of it in my back cupboard. That I bought for her. Because we're not sponsored, what I did is I cut off the label, and you'll notice there's some blood prints on it from how I cut the label. So Elena, do you wanna just comment on those numbers? Yeah, so on the side here, it says that there's 25 grams of protein in a serving. If you look at the serving size, the serving size is 29 grams. So to get 25 grams of that bean protein, that's really good because there's not a bunch of fillers in there. So that's actually a really good ratio. So that's something you wanna look at when you are reading a protein label. So look at the serving size. So right, it says, right here it says one scoop is 29 grams and the amount of protein you get is 25 grams. So that's only four grams left to be you know other ingredients in there so that's actually something really important to look for on a label so i guess after my workout i should stay away from the licorice and potato chips you can have the licorice and potato chips but with protein balance so a couple of different protein sources you could go to if you do want to use a protein supplement that's a like a protein powder you could put that in a smoothie you could mix it in with oatmeal Another source of protein would be something like poultry or fish, eggs, Greek yogurt, black beans, quinoa, things like that. So whether you're plant-based or you do eat animal products, there's lots of different forms of protein that you can get. Okay, and balance is key. Balance is key. So you want to make sure that you're getting a serving size of protein at every meal. And something you could do is use your hands. So it would be one palm-sized piece of protein at every meal and half to a full palm size at snacks. Protein is also really important to help you feel satiated, right? So if you, I love that word. I know, I know, I know. And it's very important because when you eat a meal, you want to feel fulfilled and you want to feel satisfied after. Protein plays a big role in that. Okay. That's it for Between the Reps. Uh, stay tuned for the next exercise of the hinge. Thanks, Annie. Stay well.